Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I know that was a really long intro, but I just really like this look. So hopefully you liked it too and you hung in there. So I'm gonna start off with my Peach Perfect foundation in warm beige, putting that all over my face. And I don't think I said this, but this is my tiger look for Halloween. Okay, back to the, back to the tutorial. Now I'm going in with my Peach Perfect mattifying loose setting powder and really setting my foundation. You don't want any like parts of your foundation not to be set because it'll start to blend with the paints we're gonna put over the top. Now I'm taking the NYX SFX cream paint in white and starting to map out where my face, my tiger face is going to be white. Tigers kind of have like, almost like triangular things above their eyes. I would highly suggest looking at a tiger's face. And I do wanna mention that this look is super inspired by, her name used to be Shailene Beauty on YouTube, but I will look up what her name is now because I'm pretty sure she changed it. But she has an amazing tiger tutorial and I did it a couple years ago, so I wanted to recreate it this year, but only do kind of like a half face, like mask version of it with a hat, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm blending all the white out so there's no harsh lines and then setting it with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Like I said before, you really, really, really wanna set this well. Now I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Frappe and starting to contour my face. Nothing has to look perfect because you're literally gonna put black and white stripes all over the top of it. So you just wanna put the color down. Then I'm taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan and doing the same thing and making sure to really hit your nose super well. Like make your nose way dark, like way, way tan. <laughs> Now I'm taking NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, lining my waterline, and then going in with a brush and kind of smudging it out. Now starting the nose, this part is kind of like the most tricky part. I started with the liner, but it didn't work out. So I went in with Pixie's Whaley Collaboration Liner. And basically it's gonna be easier for you guys to watch and pause and do it than for me to explain. So for the rest of this tutorial, I think I'm just gonna kind of give you a general idea of what I'm doing and then you can just like watch. So basically with the nose here, you're trying to make your nostrils look bigger than they are to make your nose look bigger than it is. And then taking Rimmel London's Total Color Precise White Liner and going in and starting the hair around my nose, then going back in with the Pixie Liner and starting to layer it on top of the white. So I would definitely recommend putting white down before you put black down because you don't wanna start to mix them and get gray. But I will say this look is not gonna move because you're gonna use eyeliners instead of like water-based paint or something like that. So for the eyes, you kinda want to black out the whole lid and then you're gonna draw these lines downward to create that kind of cat eye and then fill them in. This is also kind of a tricky part. You wanna take your time and go back and forth to make sure they match and like that the curves and the lines are all the same. Now just going back in with some more liner and I'm just gonna kinda let it roll and I'll pop in when I feel like you guys need, need some advice or whatever, need, need some help with whatever I'm doing. So like I said before, you wanna put the white down before you put the black down so that you can layer on top so that the black looks like it's on top of the white, if that makes sense. And right here, I'm just kind of going in and outlining where I wanna put the lines really lightly first and then going in thicker and then lining them completely. But you don't want to just like go in and then accidentally like go completely wrong on one side. So you do want to keep checking from one side of your face to the other to make sure they're going to match. You don't have to make them perfect because obviously things in the animal kingdom are not perfect, but you want to make them similar, similar shaped, similar movement. So just take your time, go back and forth. But really this is actually so easy because all you're doing is making these little lines. So as long as you just kind of decide where you want to put them, then you're, I mean, you're pretty much good to go. And also, like I said, 
feel free to pause this video at any time. That's what I did with, I think her name is Shailene. I'm not sure, but that was her YouTube name before. And I would pause her video and look at where she put her lines and then I kind of tweaked some things and made it my own. So feel free to do that and just have fun with it. It's kind of hard to mess up, to be honest. Like once you start going, you kind of get the flow of it and then you understand that you can like layer things on top of each other, add more, you know, white, black or whatever. And then also something I thought was kind of important for this look is that I'm putting like almost like eyelash hairs on the eye part because I wanted it to look a little more feminine, not so like a boy tiger. So I put kind of lash hairs, if you want to call them, on the top of my lids. And once you kind of see how it's turning out, you can add more white here, add more black there. I did like to add a little bit more white because I thought it made the black really stand out and look like more three-dimensional. Now I'm popping in my contact lenses. These are from Camel Eyes and I'm pretty sure they're just called the white out contact lenses. And then I'm taking my Scarecrow custom fangs, popping those in, which I really feel like is so important for this look because you really look like a tiger. So then I put a little bit of the MAC Mirai Skin Finish on my chin to round everything out. And then I'm taking my Wet n Wild Multi Stick in black and putting that all over my lips and kind of creating that cat mouth. And then popping on Flutter Lashes Airsats Storm Lashes. And I'm putting two pairs on top of each other to really make my lashes look huge then popping on a hat and that's it. I hope you guys like this look. I feel like it's super cool and I feel like the hat makes it look, I don't know, like Carmen San Diego. Like, I don't know, I was just getting those vibes. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.